the thing you call L-O-V-E is just as much an energy as the thing you call electricity. It just operates on a different frequency and it does a different job and it has to be manipulated in a different way in order to do its job. If you manipulate electricity in the wrong way, it won't work. If you manipulate spiritual energy in the wrong way, it won't work. If you manipulate electrical energy in the right way, it will work. If you manipulate spiritual energy in the right way, it will work. And I've proved it. Over and over again, I've proved it. Demonstrated this fact in multitudinous different ways to you. To anyone who has the common sense to really look and investigate, it's been proved how first it exists, secondly, how to use it. And when you do use it, and there's no shortage of it, no shortage of it at all, when you do use it, you start making a definite journey through evolution. You have a point which you fabricate way out in, no, above a space-time continuum and you gradually move towards that point or that objective. And everything else you need to reach that objective must come to you by karmic law. And it can't be otherwise. And as long as you hold that objective, that spiritual objective, all the spiritual energy you need to get to that particular spiritual pinnacle, you will be given. And all the physical energy you need to get to that particular spiritual pinnacle, you will be given. If that spiritual pinnacle exists in Andromeda, you will be given that energy the ability and the know-how how to get there. But until you do this, you'll be just playing like a lot of children in the dark.